How is it going on everybody? Welcome back for a new video. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make your microphone sound 10 times better. And uh, I'm not going to be using voice meter though. There is a method using voice meter. Um, I'm sure you'll find tons of tutorials on that on YouTube. Uh, I looked at the one did by Alpha. So I'll link it in the description below. It's a great tutorial for voice meter. But today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make it sound better using Adobe Audition. So first off, you're going to need a few things um first you're gonna need vb cable so you just type in vb cable on google this is the first result so th that one just um download it download it here install it and then you'll have another in your sound drivers you'll have a new thing called cable input i'll show you mine here that's cable input and then you can record it with cable output and i'll tell you in a minute how what that does Anyway, now that you've downloaded that, it's time to go into Adobe Audition. So here we are in Adobe Audition. So what you guys want to do, okay, so first of all, I'm going to start a new, um, I'm not going to, well, I'm not going to start a completely new one. I'm going to save this preset of effects because I don't want to lose it. Um, okay, let's call it Live Voice, Live Voice 2. Um, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna change it. Okay, great. Uh, now let's start a new one. Okay, new multi-track session. Uh, my audition is in French, so yeah. So this is new multi-track session. So let's open that up. Uh, you can call it whatever you want it. I'm gonna call it a tutorial. Um, use it whatever, whichever one you want. And uh, so I'm not gonna use. Um, I'm not gonna use a preset here. I'm gonna use. Um, 48,000 hertz because it's um, the file size isn't too big and the quality stays stays great um, 32 bit and stereo okay so let's go for that okay now we're in here now you're probably wondering how everything works in Adobe Audition so it's pretty simple I'm not gonna go like in a whole Adobe Audition tutorial because I'm not a pro at it and it wouldn't even be that good and yeah we don't have time for that anyway so select your first track right here um, you choose you can configure which uh, audio uh, thing goes into what so just go on audio here and um, this is the default entry. I'm going to use my microphone, of course. I'm going to use my uh, headset for the output for the moment, just so that we can monitor a bit of how everything is sounding. So I'm going to choose uh, input, microphone, and output, stereo, and my headset. All right, great. Uh, click R to arm it. Uh, this is going to start recording. Well, not recorded, but it's, it's ready for recording. Uh, click the short little I here for monitoring. I'm not going to activate it because I had two. I have a bit of latency, um, but we'll, we'll use that later. So first of all, what you're going to have to do is configure a few effects. So I have my presets called Live Voice 2 right here. Um, so, okay, let's go ahead and record something really quick. This is a test. Um, welcome for this video. I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. Okay, that was a bit of an awkward thing, but let, let's hear it. This is a test. Um, welcome for this video. I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. Okay, so this is my microphone without any effects. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna activate all the effects from the effects rack right now, and you'll see how different it sounds. This is a test. Um, welcome for this video. I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. Okay, so as you guys can see, it sounds way better. So I'm going to go through all the effects I have. So I have, um, you can click on that little arrow here and then um, into equalizer. And I this is the graphic equalizer 20 bands. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. So what that does is uh, it kind of um, just adds a bit more... Uh, mid and high right here do a little wave like that so you can go ahead copy my settings or just try and play around to find which one is best for your voice so yeah that's what I did with that one and then I have the parametric equalizer right here so I boosted a bit of the bass and I added a bit of treble to my voice and then I took off uh, took away a bit of the mids uh, to make it sound a bit more rounded off and then I added uh, multi-band compressor 
as you guys can see when I when I when I'm speaking right now uh, you can see this is the base this is the mids uh, and this is the highs so yeah just play around some of them uh, this one is the gate and this is the gain here I basically just played around a bit with both of them and uh, but you're not really you don't really have to use it I mean it sounds just as well without it I just wanted to play around with a bit of the settings and I found that it sounded pretty cool so it's a lot of playing around with the settings because I'm not like a sound and audio engineer or whatever it's called uh, and then this is a hard limiter so click on the little arrow here and then it is in here amplitude and compression hard limiter I'm translating the name because it's in French I know it's called hard limiter so yeah basically what the what this does it's gonna to prevent your audio from peaking so that is pretty pretty great um okay now that we have covered all the effects i'm gonna delete this thing okay so now you're probably wondering how are we going to have that stream to our audio uh to our to our recording um software and that is a very good question so anyway let's go back in the audio settings things of the project uh now okay for the input you're gonna leave it to your microphone for the output you're gonna use cable input right here let's change that here the latency you can put it to 50 because i find 50 is all right like it, if you go under 50 the audio won't really work like it's gonna sound really terrible and uh if you go over 50 well i mean 100 is still okay but if you go above 100 it's just gonna have like a huge um yeah it's just the latency is gonna be a bit bigger so you're gonna you're gonna have to synchronize it again uh when you're editing it uh which isn't that big of a deal but i just prefer to have it on 50 so yeah there we go okay so now let's link back up these two microphone for inputs and uh cable input for output great now okay so we're gonna click on record see when i talk the little thing moves that is pretty great uh also now we are gonna activate the monitoring which is the little eye here so we have both of them activated which means that when i talk the audio instead of if this was my headset the audio would come back to my headset but since i have it to the cable input when i talk the audio with the effects on them is gonna go to the cable input now um i don't know which device you're using for for capturing but i use mirrorless action which doesn't want to go up to the screen wait let me see there we go mirrorless action right here and if you go to the audio settings uh, this is my audio these are my audio settings you can choose cable output I'm using right now my microphone because I'm gonna um, I'm gonna add the effects later on because I'm gonna split the audio and the video but yeah anyway um, here is that's where you select your microphone and instead of selecting your microphone you're gonna use cable output and that is how you will have uh, all the effects applied to your voice in live which is pretty great you can use that for streams videos everything you want you can also do it in post-production but I just find it easier that way um so yeah that is it for this short tutorial hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave it a thumbs up if you have any questions for me feel free to leave them in the comments below i'll be sure to answer them and uh, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me and uh yeah i'll see you all in the next video Bye bye